What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Rusty and we are back rebuilding this 2016 Great Dane 53 foot dry van trailer. And this is gonna be episode three, I think. And if you guys did watch my alignment series on this truck that I rebuilt, uh, yeah, we did an actual real alignment. It was a pretty good video. I gave you a little bit of a, you know, sneak peek of what exactly was happening with this trailer. I'm gonna go over it real quick. Every time I start a video like this, I always tell you guys, watch part one, watch part two, because it'll give you a little bit of a flashback of what exactly is going on with this drive-in trailer. So go back, watch those videos, and there's actually a price reveal on video one, so go ahead and watch that, how much I purchased this piece of junk for. And yeah, come back to this video. So the side fairings are gone. I actually sold them in, in my alignment video I did right before this. Uh, yeah, side fairings are gone. And that's because I didn't like them and uh, they're a little flimsy and you know, but yeah. Also off camera, we did repair this floor already. I say we, but it was actually me alone. I did not know what I was doing, but you know, gotta learn. We cut it out right here and uh, these two pieces were replaced. This is two brand new and this is a used piece. This is not just regular wood. This is special wood for floors of construction equipment. In English, I forgot exactly what it was called. I'm not even gonna try to butcher the name. I got a little blood on there because, you know, first time using a saw, but yeah, cut a little edges out. I mean, it looks good, it looks good. This whole thing is actually gonna be covered by a big metal plate, so it really doesn't matter, but it needs to be pretty sturdy. We got most of the parts. We got the corner for the front over there. We got this piece of rail that goes also in the front over there that's been damaged. And these right here, I think they were called cross members or bow ties or something like that. Pretty much they go alongside of the whole roof on the edges right there from side to side. And there's about 32 of them. I got a little bit of extra because we're gonna be tightening up that corner a little bit where it was damaged, just so it's a little more secure. Also got our aluminum roof roll. So this whole roof right here is gonna get unrolled on top whenever it comes time for that. So enough talking. It's time to start unscrewing a lot of stuff from back there and start drilling out that rail, cutting that rail off, changing it out. And I don't know if we're gonna do that first or start cutting into this. Here we need to pretty much, since it, this got kind of like tore out and this bent out, we're probably gonna chop this, hammer it back all together, bend this back. And uh, there's a corner over there that's damaged too. Bend everything back out and start welding everything back into place. Let me go through this real quick with you guys and explain exactly what's going on. So we had to brace some of this. So when this got ripped off, it broke one of these brackets. So we had to add like literally six inches to each side. There goes one right there and then right there, another extra piece. And yeah, it got welded and it, it got, you know, sealant all over the place over there. This is actually way stronger than factory now. So yeah, right now we thought this beam is gonna be straight, but it's not where you know, framing machine this thing right now and pulling this thing out so it's nice and flush. And uh, yeah, we almost got the holes. I don't know if you guys can see it. All perfect along the edge and it is almost done. And when this is done, then we'll start straightening this out and welding this back together and then starting to put all of these 
rivets, hammer rivets or whatever they're called. I'll show you guys what I bought. It's like the special tool you need to do. And then after we do all that, then we start with this. This is bent in, we're gonna have to bend it back out and then we add this bracket that we cut out. And then this beam is actually moved up. So we have to move this back down. But yeah, this is the next day, by the way. Obviously we can't do all of this in one day and it is what it is, but it is getting there. It is getting there little by little. And uh, yeah, gonna be done here soon. went ahead and reparked her over there the frame is done forklift is still there if you guys are wondering about what the heck is going on over here <laughs> we are cleaning up guys we might be moving out of here not sure yet didn't really want to get ahead of myself but yeah just cleaning up Like I said in my first rebuild video of this dry van, this thing is gonna be held up by hopes and dreams and we're making it happen. Let me try to quickly explain to you guys exactly what happened. Uh, this door is actually ready to go. It was bent on that side and we, you know, bent it out. This is just two two-sided aluminum. It's really easy. Uh, we got our next step is to bend this bar out to go onto this door and installing this door. But that door is way worse than this one. And yeah, we weren't planning on actually fixing this right here but we had to replace it that's because this this bar and this bar is like two separate pieces and it was completely warped we did not want to put it back like that and it's gonna be ugly and crooked and yeah it wasn't gonna be pretty but this is the proper way to do it we changed just a little piece of it and yeah we just gotta drill the hole for this light and everything's all gucci and we're gonna have to primer this and probably spray it we don't know yet but not a big deal the arc is pretty much almost completed and yeah let's finish out these doors real quick and start installing them making sure they all close making sure we did a good job and then we're going to be installing all of these beams across the roof Ugh. a lot of people are going to say i'm a cheapskate for unbending these bars fixing the doors but what you guys don't understand is these doors are actually not that expensive. I think they're 200, 250 bucks each. Doesn't sound like a lot, but the gaskets that go around the door right there, they're also like 150 to 200 dollars each. That's how they get you on the doors, which I was like, nah, this is a budget build. There's no way in hell I'm spending that kind of money. Also, these bars are 100 dollars. Like that's like a thousand dollars just on doors. No, we're fixing these things. That's not a big deal. Ugh. It's all metal, you know what I'm saying? I didn't say that I was gonna be selling this trailer. This is for myself. If anything goes wrong, I'm obviously just blaming myself. I think, I think that should be good. <laughs>
Well guys, we have great success with the doors. I actually can't believe how good it came out. If you guys remember how the doors were, yeah, they open up good. We checked the seals. There was no light shining through any of the edges. So this thing is gonna seal well. You can tell where we had to crunch it to bend it back. So this door was bent a little bit this way. This one wasn't that bad. This one opens and closes pretty fine. It's pretty straight that way. Can't say nothing about this door because this door, if you guys remember, it was laying right there. And in my previous videos, it was completely like freaking wave, okay? Um, yeah, we got it the best we can. It opens and closes fine. And uh, it has a little bit of marks here and there, but I don't know if you can see on camera, but if I if I do like this, I think you can see it right, right there. This little edge is like a propeller slightly, but it's not that bad. I mean, you can tell if you look right here, there's a wrinkle right there, but guys, this is awesome. This, we have to save this door. I guess a good example is, uh, look, it latches there and look how far away it is there. We just bend it back just a little bit like uh, you know what i mean it, it works okay trust me it works yeah doors are great can't believe we saved them it's really nice i really did not feel like spending a thousand dollars on the door also this plate was saved i did not feel like buying this plate uh we went ahead and reinforced it all the way on the bottom like i showed you guys before all of these bolts right there yeah, it's it's on there. It's on there better than stock. I, I you know these holes are gonna be here. Um, some of these are gonna be empty holes. Not a big deal, but yeah, it's on there. Also, we got to the roof beams. So these are custom made. We had to add an extension to the bracket because this snapped off and turned that way. Also on that side, we had to add an extension bracket right here. So we're just gonna paint over this. It'll be exactly that color. This is for reinforcement because it was an accident. You know what I'm saying? We did the best we could. Also these beams are being held up by original. These are called a hammerhead rivets or something like that. And you hammer them on, they're aluminum rivets and they get smashed right there we added a little bit of extra caulking right here this is a uh, greyhound special well it's not for greyhound but it's for trailer caulk caulking whatever it's called a caulking caulking i don't you guys know i'm a foreigner i can't i can't say that properly but yeah most of them are done we got all the way to the end except the last 10. uh that's because we still have a damaged corner there a lot of people are gonna ask why are we installing these first without fixing this corner right here and it's for a reason okay boys we're just not doing this for fun it is my first time doing any of this by the way i'm we're just kind of learning as we go not a big, big deal like i said in the first video this trailer and all trailers these drive-in trailers are held up by hopes and dreams so remember that phrase guys hopes and dreams and yeah we got this far and this is where we're going to be start starting splicing right here and changing this whole rail it needs to be changed out all of that is going to get changed out drilled out we got the new rail right there this corner piece this is going to be another deal uh that's obviously going to be in the next video this video is already too long i know that it seems pretty fast how we're doing this we're doing this boom 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 everything you know what i'm saying and yeah it's it's not this whole process right here of bending these doors out bending this little frame thing out putting in a new frame piece right there uh was five days guys and it's not fun but it is kind of fun this was about total five days of work six hours a day so yeah it seems like it's pretty fast progress but it's not not really all of this stuff you just seen in this episode three of this drive-in rebuild was five days six hours a day so this is going to be the end of this video this is uh episode three one two three is it three i don't know i don't want i've already lost count of my days and hours next episode we're changing out this rail we are finishing the roof rails and we are installing the roof roll and yeah that's going to be a whole nother interesting video so this thing is almost done maybe another episode or two the other probably the second to the last episode uh but yeah we're gonna fix a little stuff here and there and this thing is gonna be really ready to roll appreciate it guys so much for sticking to to this insane scrapyard rebuild yeah on to the next one boys deuces